Electric and satellite diving equipment reportedly cuts out when near the object. Stefan Holgerburn, a professional diver with Ocean X, said, Anything electric out there, and the satellite phone as well, stopped working when we were above the object, then when we got away about 200 meters, it turned on again. Sonar has found drag marks behind the object and geologist Steve Weiner says according to his tests, the structure is not a geological formation. He said the object is made of metals which nature could not reproduce itself. Sat nearly 300 feet below the surface and measuring 26 feet tall, the marine explorers found the strange craft with the sight scan sonar. Mr. Lindbergh said, I have been the biggest skeptic, I was kind of prepared for finding just stone. For me it has been an amazing experience. Now explorers believe they are one step closer to discovering the truth behind the mysterious 140,000 year old Baltic Sea anomaly. Bearing a striking resemblance to the Star Wars Millennium Falcon, the Baltic Sea anomaly appears to be formed of pieces of angular metal, prompting claims it is a crashed UFO. Swedish explorer Peter Lindbergh and his Ocean X team of marine explorers discovered this strange object during a dive searching for an old shipwreck. Instead he discovered the so-called anomaly. Even more intriguingly a structure that looks like a staircase appears to lead to a dark hole with a second structure found nearby. Speculation is rife over what the object could be with some saying it could be an anti-submarine device left over from World War II, a battleship gun turret, or indeed a flying saucer. Despite looking like a huge rock, scientists say the structure appears to be made of metal. Electric and satellite diving equipment reportedly cuts out when near the object. Stefan Holgerburn, a professional diver with Ocean X, said, Anything electric out there, and the satellite phone as well, stopped working when we were above the object, then when we got away about 200 meters, it turned on again. Mr. Lindbergh's Ocean X team are continuing to investigate the object, five years after making the initial discovery while exploring the floor of the Bothnian Sea between Sweden and Finland. Sonar has found drag marks behind the object and geologist Steve Weiner says according to his tests, the structure is not a geological formation. He said the object is made of metals which nature could not reproduce itself. Sat nearly 300 feet below the surface and measuring 26 feet tall, the marine explorers found the strange craft with the sight scan sonar. Mr. Lindbergh said, I have been the biggest skeptic, I was kind of prepared for finding just stone. For me it has been an amazing experience. I think it is very odd in its shape. It is tough to give an explanation as to what it might be exactly, since different scientists have many different theories. Whatever it is, it is something we do not usually find in nature sitting in the dark cold depths of the Baltic Sea. It is thought the object could be at least 140,000 years old after a university professor linked the mysterious disk to the Ice Age. Volker Brucker an associate professor of geology at Stockholm University, said, My hypothesis is that this object, this structure was formed during the Ice Age many thousands of years ago. Ocean X is expected to return to the wreck to continue investigating the discovery. Mr. Lindbergh said, We will pretty much just be able to do the same things as we did in 2012. It is not for sure yet but since we're involved in a new TV project it might give us the opportunity.